<laughs> funny that you say like the school days, like Mal is either like a 10 or a two. That's, yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. definitely one of those people who put it as a 10. I know you did, you piece of shit. Cause, cause I know exactly what, what my- What is going on here? School day sucks. Welcome to Trash Taste episode three. I'm your host, Connor Seadog, and we have the hentai man, as always. That's me. And the anime zone. Man, you went straight in there, didn't you? I had to, I had to. <laughs> you were like, no, <laughs> no bullshit. Okay, let's just get this done, guys. There was I'm- like no like prefix whatsoever. It's like, this is Trash Taste episode three. I'm your host. All right, yeah. let's what go. What else? I mean, that's how you start it. Then we get into the topic. Yeah, but you, you gotta know? have like a, can we, we need to come up with like some kind of like, you know, like how Good Mythical Morning does it. Yeah. Like the, let's talk about that. Like we gotta have something like that I was sure. going to, but you interrupted me with the, you know. What? <laughs> I didn't interrupt you with anything. <laughs> you, I was gonna say your names, then the topic is gonna be smooth There was as no prefix to interrupt. No, no, exactly, no. right? Wow, wow, okay, ruining my, my turn. Okay, well then, all right, all right, go, go, go. my time to shine. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> what I would like to discuss today with you gentlemen is your anime origin story, if you will. How did you get oh. into anime? And, and how, you know, you discovered that you were this- gonna go down this rabbit hole of never this, coming back. This beautiful medium that uh, we all we all love and- And hate <laughs> <laughs> yeah. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. So who would like to go first? I mean, do you want to go first, Joey? Because I feel like you have the most unique yeah, most one. most likely. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like my, my- pressure on me pro- probably, uh, probably out of all of us, I, right? I, Yeah, actually, yeah, okay. I'm ha- having to follow up his story is gonna be fun, but- uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not that exciting. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, yeah, I guess like mine is unique in the sense that like, am, would you say I'm the- only Anituba that has like grown up with anime. Like, and when I say grown up, I mean like from like age of like conceptual thought. <laughs> you know, age like, of conceptual I, thought. Yeah. Um, I, I think just being raised in a household with a Japanese parent yeah. right. probably has an immediately different attitude towards anime than yeah. one that we would experience in like Western. Right, because like you know, when most people say like, "Oh, I grew up with anime. Like, anime <laughs> yeah. was my childhood." Like, <laughs> like you know, that usually starts at like age like you know twelve, Eight. maybe yeah. ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I but mean, like, the real question is, did you know what anime was growing up? I like, mean. That's all I ever knew. Yeah, exactly. Right. Anything. Okay, so so when you were you were growing up in your head, even at like age five or six, there was yeah. a clear distinction between like Pokemon and like I don't know, or like Cartoon Network yeah, shows. Like, like that, there was a difference, or right? Ed, Ed, yeah. Eddie like or you something knew like that, that. They, one of them was Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Because See, uh, like yeah. I, because unlike a lot of kids in Australia and like probably around my age group, I yeah. grew up watching Pokemon and like Dragon Ball in yeah. Japanese. I thought Pokemon was an American cartoon. And right. I, my, a lot my, of people did. My that. mind was blown at like age 10 when I heard the Japanese <laughs> version because it was on YouTube clips, right? Yeah, yeah, and right, you're like, right. oh wait, this is the original? Yeah. How? Yeah. Because to me, Pokemon, when I was growing up, just seemed like this very weird genre. Like I couldn't put my finger on yeah, it, yeah. but I, I felt like it was a genre. Like it was Pokemon, Digimon, Cardcaptor Sakura, which yeah. was Cardcaptors in the UK and America. Yeah. Um, was it actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was just called Cardcaptors. <laughs> Sakura, that's too Asian sounding. Get rid of that. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't even Sakura, it's Sakura. Oh. Sakura. <laughs> and I, the other girl was like, they changed her name to Madison, I okay. think. I can't oh. remember what her original name was. But this is this is back in the age of like four kids dubbing. I don't think it was even even four kids that dubbed Card Captor Sakura. Yeah, yeah. But it was in the day that you know localization was a thing. We were eating jelly donuts <laughs> instead of onigiri. <laughs> so I couldn't believe that the first time because you know like being as you said like growing up in an Asian household, Japanese household, onigiri was just like the most like normal yeah, concept. That's like I've your ever bread. Seen. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's what like you know, do to my boy. <laughs> No, it's like, it's like, you know, like, yeah, as you said, it's like bread. It's like watching a, an American cartoon, like Dex's laboratory. Yeah. And like a scene of them making toast, for example. <laughs> and it gets overdubbed into Japanese. Like, you know, I'm making a rice ball, <laughs> a flat rice ball. I, th- I think it's just cause at that time, um, I remember a lot of my friends just didn't really know the concept of just eating rice. Yeah, like if you weren't right. if you weren't Asian, you're like, why would you eat rice with every meal? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I, I, guess I, so. I think I can remember my family thinking like rice was like exotic. Isn't that really? <laughs> well, I mean it was something you had with like foreign foods. Yeah. Right? Oh, like, yeah. Okay. You, just don't, you don't really eat rice. But like me, that's on the contrary dishes. though, right? Like, do you eat bread with everything? Because at oh, least I, in Japan, the concept of you eating everything. bread with everything is like, why? I feel like at least in British culture, you could put bread with anything. Like oh, you get away true. with it. But I, I mean, guess yeah. I guess like the food culture yeah. of that country revolves Anyway, we're getting it. off topic. We're getting <laughs> food culture. It, yeah, but so like basically like I grew up like watching Pokemon and like um, 
Uh, what else can I remember watching? Uh, I guess like before that though, like before Pokemon or anything like that, or, uh, you know, before I started watching like mm. One Piece or yeah. like Dragon Ball, or, like yeah. all the Shonen Jump stuff, like Japanese kids grow up with this like very certain array of like kids anime, yeah. okay. which is just absolutely not known overseas like at all. Doraemon. Uh, Doraemon's probably like the most well-known, but like you don't, like see an anituber like <laughs> reviewing like, Doraemon. Yeah. Episode 5,000 <laughs> review Doraemon, let's go. Right, <laughs> like, or like, you know, like one series that I grew up watching like alongside Doraemon was this show called Sazae-san. Mm, yeah. yeah. Which is like the longest running the longest Japanese running anime, anime ever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and nobody outside of Japan has heard of it. I didn't know about it until you, I was having a conversation I mean, just to put it in perspective, it, my mom grew up watching that show <laughs> yeah. and I grew up watching yeah. that show. Right, so right. it's it's been going on since like the sixties and I think there's like, 5,000 episodes ridiculous. or yeah, something? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's still going to yeah, this I know, day. I, know. I don't know how, yeah. like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> because like, it's really weird because the concept of that show is like, it's just a revolving around this family mm. living in Japan. And it's just like the most like normal ass slice of life show that I've ever seen. But yeah. I also think to myself, like, how can you come up with like 40 years worth of topics? and not be like, oh, maybe we did covered this topic like 25 years ago in one of those episodes. There must be episodes that overlap. Like I feel you can't make that many episodes and not overlap. I mean, no, they probably no. could overlap, but no one's gonna be bothered yeah. to like yeah. fucking cross no, no one's No one's <laughs> rewatching that show, right? It's, it's one of those like, things that if it's on TV, you watch it, yeah. right? It's like, uh, uh, they covered this topic in episode 1743. <laughs> there's, there's, you know, there's one super fan in oh, Japan course, that's just seen course. every episode. Of course, yeah. Um, and just knows everything about every episode. Yeah, that, yeah. that seems to be, Sazai, Sazai, san Sazai san And yeah. Doraemon seem to be the one thing where if you ask anyone in Japan, do you watch anime? They'll be like, yeah. oh yeah, Doraemon. And yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, yeah and then I'm like, yeah. oh, I mean like, you know, the other anime. <laughs> right, right. Because like, like anime, anime, yeah. like there's a distinction. <laughs> there's no boobs in that, what the? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to imagine Doraemon with <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no god. That exists somewhere on the Probably. internet. Please don't. But Please like no. but like watching Doraemon and like Sazai san and like I could list off a number of oh, shows, yeah, but yeah, of course. no one would probably know. But like there's just like a certain number of shows that I think like it's just become tradition now, no matter what generation or like if you're born born and raised in the city or the you know, the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Every kid grows up watching these like really specific set of shows. Yeah. And that's just like normal to them. You know, that's like watching, you know, a Peppa Pig. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. it's just like, you don't even think about like, oh yes, it's a cartoon. Yeah. Like it's just something it's on the TV, yeah. right? And then, yeah, like, I guess like the concept of like anime anime didn't hit me until maybe like, probably start when I started watching like One Piece and like Dragon Ball and like probably around like the Pokemon time. So I reckon when I was like, five or six years old. Oh my God. So so when you start realizing what anime is and probably get in, into it, yeah. that's when probably we started to watch our first anime, which yeah. was Pokemon, which right, was Dragon Ball. Right, Z. right. But like in my head, I'm like, yeah, Pokemon is an anime and like Samurai Jack is a cartoon. Yeah. Because yeah. at that time, like around like five or six years old, that's when oh, I started Samurai like Jack. watching like Cartoon Network, right? Yeah. And I'd like to think that we grew up in like the golden age of Cartoon Network. I mean, I'd say so. We had Samurai Jack. We had Samurai yeah, yeah. Jack, like Dexter's Lab, Cow and Chicken, yeah. Ed and Eddie, <laughs> like so many amazing shows. And to me, it's like, okay, things on Cartoon Network are cartoons, Yeah, yeah. but things that are on like the VHS tapes that my grandma would send to me. <laughs> oh, that anime. is anime. It's anime. Yeah. yeah. So for me, there was like a really clear distinction. So like, I didn't have like one day this sudden realization that like, oh shit, Doraemon is an anime. Yeah. yeah. Because it was just so natural to me. See, I don't even remember when I got that realization. <clears throat> Cause I think I must've got it when I properly started getting into anime with Naruto was my first like anime anime. Mm. Um, and that was, purely because I just kept seeing avatars and, you know, gifts on the internet. And I was like, yeah. this kind of looks like Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> which I grew up on, which that cartoon that I was really into. Do they have ridiculously spiky hair? Yeah, <laughs> probably the same thing. Exactly, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think, I, cause I was on the internet way before I started watching anime. And I think obviously being on the internet, you see a lot of anime. Mm. And I was just thinking like, what is this shit? Like mm. what, what, what? I'm just trying to play RuneScape. Why are they talking about this stuff? Like, I don't, I don't get it. All I knew is that their opinion didn't matter because they had profile anime profile pictures. Which right? I guess like, still is like- <laughs> It's a, a timeless thing. thing. Yeah. That's, 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 that's just a meme now that it's just, it's generational now. Yeah. It's generational. No, man. I, I, I mean, Pokemon was the first one for me. I must've mm. been like, God. I mean, Pokemon was always one of my favorite shows. I think we mentioned this in like episode zero or something that it had like, an overarching story, yeah. which mm. you only really got, you didn't really get it actually in any, except for like 
Avatar, but that came way later. Yeah. Like in old, like 90s. Do you just call Avatar an anime? Or like cartoons, sorry, I was comparing <laughs> a cartoon. I was about to fucking just- <laughs> Because like, you know, you don't watch Courage the Cowardly Dog for the overarching story, no, arc, no, right? No, like you no, watch right. it because it's like every episode's great and you have a good time. But then yeah. I remember Pokemon was like, oh, whoa, they're like actually like working towards something. Yeah, yeah. It's, I think as well, like that era of anime yeah. as well, like unlike a lot of cartoons, yeah. it was, like, yes, there was like yeah. episodic moments, but yeah. as you said, there was like an overarching Yeah, you, story. You, even if it was a filler, you knew they were like, they had a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and that seemed to be the case where that kind of structure really like spoke to me as a, for, for whatever reason, I really enjoyed that as a kid. Mm, and then yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh had the same thing. Mm. And then I thought, huh, well, all these things with all the spiky head people and <laughs> the really like well-drawn things are like, I like these kind of cartoons. It's so weird though for me, at least with Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. is that I didn't know Yu-Gi-Oh was an anime because I grew up with the card game first. Really? Yeah, yeah, same, yeah. same. I, okay. I got the card game and then watched the anime. Yeah, right. Because everyone in your school was playing Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I didn't get that phase. I didn't go. I didn't get that Yu Gi Oh phase. We yeah. had I because when I was in school, everyone was like trading Pokemon cards, and nobody knew how to play the actual game. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. no, no, no one did. We had like a black market like trade deal with Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> I had like I had like a really dark like Yu Gi Oh phase because like. <laughs> I was like, I was legit like fucking <laughs> my dad because my dad like used to work for like a printing company. Yeah, so right. what he would do is he would find like high res like pictures of Exodia. Oh no. Oh, no. My parents and did would, that one time and as he well. Would, like, oh my God. And he would like print them out and I would come to school and I'd be like, yeah, I got f all five pieces of Exodia. <laughs> and I'd be like, a 10 year old doesn't know, right? So oh like, my God. whoa, no way, you got Exodia. <laughs> but it was funny as well because like much like your Pokemon cards, yeah. no one knew how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. It was just like, oh, oh cool. Really? you have. Exodia. Because I feel like the um, the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh were easier to understand oh, yeah, yeah. than the rules of yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, um, Pokemon was hard. Yeah, because yeah. I, I did like I I don't think anyone in my school played the Pokemon card game. You just collect them. Yeah, you just you just collected them, right? You had like it was easy to understand. You had a shiny. Um, and you Charizard. Just, like, I mean, <laughs> you got to get Charizard. Well, that's the thing though, right? It's like, in order to play the Pokemon card games, you needed to like not throw away the energy cards. Which, which yeah, no one wanted, did. no one wanted. Everybody was like, no energy card, <laughs> that. Which like my my school, like um, in my school, everyone was just like, yep, got, 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 <laughs> haven't got. That that yeah, was that's, just that was, was just lunchtime yeah. every day yeah, in my yeah, school. Yeah. Um. But yeah, because I I started to realize that I really liked anime when everyone got into Pokemon when we had the Pokemon card card game phase as well. So yeah. it was just like a global craze. Oh yeah. And I then remember. how long did that last? That lasted like a year or something, right? Well, I think or like a few months. The year I was born, nineteen ninety six. I think mm. Pokemon was the most googled thing. Yeah. Of that year. Well, because yeah. the game had just it, come it out. just came out, and obviously since that point onwards, it's pretty. Mid, through the mid 2000s, it was yeah. pretty insane. Oh, like, yeah, Pokemon yeah. was like, and arguably still today is one of the biggest like, you know. Yeah, because um, yeah. I just kept watching Pokemon even after everyone had like, even when the craze same, had gone. Same. Mm. And every, my mom was, my mom and my dad wondering like, why is this kid still into Pokemon? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? No, no, I, I had the same thing. My parents were like, they were like worried for me. They were like, should we like, <laughs> Do we need to like do something about this? Like he's still like watching cartoons and my older brother had like foregone cartoons. Yeah, it was right. like a sign of pride that he had yeah, stopped yeah. watching cartoons. Exactly, yeah. right? He was like, I only watch reality TV show now with my parents. I don't watch this kid show. I watch MTV, but yeah. not for the Right, music. right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I fucking loved like, you know, Samurai Jack. Like I would always try and watch Samurai Jack, like Courage Cowardly Dog yeah. anime as well. Yeah, and my yeah. parents genuinely like were concerned for me. I don't know if they still are concerned for me. <laughs> I imagine there's a I little much, bit. I think much less so now that you've made like yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. That's, no, that's ex the exact point. Cause all the way up to university and when I rediscovered what anime yeah. was, my parents were like, he's he's doing it again. <laughs> we yeah, thought, yeah. We, thought yeah. we were past this fucking <laughs> phase. <laughs> when they found out I was watching like more anime than ever, they were like yeah. even more concerned. They were like, whoa, he's gone even harder into yeah. this. We thought it would stop. I, yeah. re I remember my dad, like the, the funniest thing my dad ever said, I think I was in like, uh, like, maybe the last year of high school. Yeah. And that was like when I was like hot, this is right before I made my YouTube channel. Yeah. Right? And yeah. I was like watching every anime ever. <laughs> and like, my dad would be like, what are you doing in your room? Cause he thought I was doing something else. Yeah. And, and right. I, when I told him that I was watching anime, I remember my dad saying like, okay, at this point, I think I'd rather you just do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I would have been less disappointed if I found out you were doing drugs in your which, room. Which one's more life crushing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Arguably they're both around the same. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, but like, I don't know, like, I guess like, 
it, I don't really have like a phase of like when I discovered yeah, no. anime or anything mm-hmm. because as long as I've known, oh, like, I do. Even, even <laughs> yeah, because like even manga as well. Like I started reading manga like around the same time that I discovered Doraemon, which is probably around when I was like four or five years old. Oh damn! So you've been reading manga since four or five? Probably, maybe wow. earlier than that. But I specifically remember the first ever volume of manga I ever got was volume two of Doraemon. Oh, I don't right. know why my mom didn't get me volume one of Doraemon. <laughs> that would have been cooler. But like, I didn't know that it was like an overarching story. So I was like, okay, I'll just start reading this. Had no idea what the fuck was going on at first <laughs> until I got volume one. And I was like, oh, now it makes sense. Okay. Wow, man. I feel like my, my anime thing was like, there's three points in my life where like I was, I, I can vague, like very vividly remember watching anime. First was like Pokemon. Mm. Yeah. You know, occasionally seeing a Yu-Gi-Oh episode of the cards. Yeah. But I think maybe when I got access to like the internet, I think that's when another one came because mm. I remember watching like Yu-Gi-Oh, I think it was GX, mm, right. like parts, three parts. The on three U- parts on YouTube. And, you, and you, know, you know if someone's like an OG anime fan because they're like, oh yeah, don't you hate it when you find an Espanol sub of your <laughs> your one, like you, okay. So envision it, right? It's 2000, right? You watch episode one, part one of Yu-Gi-Oh. And you're like, okay, cool. I'm gonna watch episode one, part two. You click it. It's the next recommended video. It's in Espanol. What do you do? <laughs> do you just do you, do you like keep looking, or do you just give up and go to the next part? Yeah, I, I remember so many times I had to do that, and I was confused as fuck. <laughs> the worst, I think, the what's worse than that is when you like could someone uploads like a full anime movie yeah. onto YouTube, but because. Oh. It had to be split into like eight parts. Oh no. Oh, no. And like always, always like either like part six or part five. Always one of them. There's always, always, one, there's always one part that was missing yeah. and you couldn't find it. So you just had to give up and just be like, all yeah. right, I'll just skip 15 minutes and I, just hopefully try and catch yeah, up. Yeah, I think there's 15 minutes of the first Naruto movie that I've just never seen because I watched <laughs> it on YouTube. It's just, I, I don't know what's happened. It might be the best 15 minutes of Naruto history. <laughs> I don't fucking know because I haven't seen it. Because okay. what was it? it? Was like the max upload time was ten minutes on YouTube, right? Yeah, Before, yeah. yeah. So that's why it was split up into three. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, and I remember that was like the one of the biggest. And the, phases and the third me. part would always just be like five minutes. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. It was like- <laughs> there was the outro, yeah. was half of it. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. No, that was like definitely a big phase for me, and I could have been around 13, 14 at that point. Yeah. Mm. Question to you then: Did you yeah. grow up during the tsunami phase? Because I feel like tsunami is has, has played such a big factor into mm. making the anime fans of today. Um, no, I, I, for some reason, I, we, did we have Toonami in the UK? We did, we did, when but you needed, Ed? you needed Sky TV. So you I, need, you needed Cartoon Network yeah, to be able to watch yeah. Toonami. So Sky is like basically cable in the UK. Yeah. And, Wait, uh, you guys didn't get Cartoon Network just like free to air? No, 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 no you had to no, pay for no. Cartoon Network really? in the UK. Um, Cause I'm yeah. pretty sure in Australia it was free to air. Oh wow. Air. Yeah, cause, oh. cause I remember my parents paid cause my dad wanted to pay for the football matches in the UK. Right. And you basically got the whole bundle. So I would yeah. watch the cartoon stuff. And I remember there was like, there was loads of cartoons. I never saw anime. I think it was airing really late. And by then yeah. my parents were like, mm. why aren't you in bed, son? Cause what, what, are you doing? what was on Toonami? Um, it was like Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing. I remember um, seeing Dragon Ball, never yeah, watched yeah. it though. Cause I just, it was always a mess. Cause it, they aired it out of order. So <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what was going on. So I, I thought it was cool, but I couldn't get into it. Right. Yeah, I think Dragon Ball Z and Gundam Wing were the only two I was able to watch whenever, cause our family didn't have Sky TV. So I yeah. could only watch it when I go to my cousin's house and I'll be watching episodes out of order. Gundam Wing made no fucking sense Gundam, to me. Gundam Wing still makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch Gundam Wing in order and it'll still make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> like I'd be watching a scene and for some reason, the guy wants to kill this girl, but the girl still wants to get with the guy. Makes no fucking sense to me. As a kid, you know, Gundam Wing's already confusing enough as it is. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z was okay because yeah. I could just watch, I could skip five episodes and they'd be- It'd be sti- the same fight. It'd, yeah. it'd be yeah. still yeah. the same yeah. fight, yeah. you know. <laughs> Goku would just be like three steps closer to Frieza. <laughs> no, cause I remember like, I would I'd be watching these scenes in Dragon Ball Z yeah. and Goku was like powering up the spirit bomb. Yeah. And then I'd go, I, I, I'd not be able to go to my cousins till like two weeks later. Yeah. And then Goku was still powering up the bomb. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is just the next episode. No, it was like, I missed like three, four episodes and it was it was just the, still the same shit. And to this day, he's still powering it up. Yeah, still he hasn't finished, man. If, if he hasn't died for the seventh time, yeah. <laughs> come back to life. Because my my exposure to anime has got like, now that I think back to it, there's, there's the main phases of like the Pokemon phase. Yeah. And then there's the Toonami phase yeah. where I'd see it on, um, Tsunami and TV. Mm. And then there was this huge gap 
I had the exact same thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I did. I like. I realized now that in the in this huge gap, I still had like small exposures mm. to anime. Like, um, whenever I go to Thailand, we'd always have these shitty, shitty Thai dubs <laughs> of, of these. Like the like Ultraman was was like massive in Thailand. Yeah. Even though that's um even though that's not a, a, an anime, but yeah, we'd have yeah, like yeah. Dragon Ball Z dubs. And man, having listening to Thai dubs, they've only got <laughs> five voice actors. <laughs> and actresses, and they voice every character in every anime. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna like play an episode on <laughs> here. Just, I just want to hear it. Anyone who's grown up in Southeast Asia knows what I'm talking about. When you have five voice actors who plays every character in every show, and then uh, my cousin showed me. Uh, I think it was Princess Mononoke, just as, oh, it, wow, just as yeah. it came out. I didn't know it was anime, it just like was this animated film. I thought it was Disney. How, how like, old are you when you watch Princess Mononoke? Uh, I mean, it came out in 97. Yeah, oh, so damn. I must've yeah. been like, like it was the year after it came out cause it was out on DVD. It's a pretty so gruesome must... movie to watch. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, my, <laughs> that was the first Ghibli movie I watched. Oh, yeah, God. like yeah. I, I thought I thought that movie was just Disney. And then <laughs> just, just before I discovered like Naruto and everything yeah, yeah. like that, um, I went through the LimeWire phase. Right? Oh, oh yes, I had that. I had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for music though. I didn't-, I didn't No, no, just, just for music, same here, right? Mm. So I would be browsing, um, browsing LimeWire for music. Yeah. Uh, probably like downloading Linkin Park or Papa Roach or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, <laughs> as, as you do in 2004. <laughs> as, as you do in 2004. <laughs> um, and then something else like, you, you know, sometimes you download a file and, yeah. some, and it's not the file you aim for. Like, it's, but, you mean every file the, the, on LimeWire? The, the, the Bill Clinton file? <laughs> yeah. like, the Bill Clinton oh file. Oh my God. Oh my God, so good. So in LimeWire, someone was just circulating Bible black clips. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the dub. Yeah, the dub. Oh. It was the dub as well. <laughs> ah, the so I funny. never knew that Bible black was a Japanese anime because I'm right. just like, what is this shitty porn that I'm watching? <laughs> but as a kid, as a kid, I'm like, Yo, it's kind of hot though. It's holy, holy fuck, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that, and then. That's exactly how Aki discovered it as yeah, well. Yeah, like yeah. she said in multiple videos that like going through Lime Whale, obviously looking for the new Linkin Park I mean, album. You just yeah. trust people, right? And it like, was the tentacle scene of Bible Black. And she's like, this is like, she had like an epiphany. She was like, this is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> I can't imagine though, like, because that, I don't even remember, I don't want to get onto the topic, but like, I don't remember how I discovered that. People side. like get on the topic. Get <laughs> on the topic. <laughs> no, because, because I didn't, I obviously didn't know it was hentai or right. I, I didn't even know it was anime. Yeah. Right. Um, but holy shit. Yeah, I'm having a fucking epiphany now. <laughs> Bible Black wasn't the only hentai I downloaded on there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what else? Oh my god! Like, I've, like, because I remember, I, I remember downloading full length, um, and uh, no hentai that came out in the '90s. I can't remember the name, but what, I, I what, why? Why huh? are you downloading yeah. full length hentai? Girl? Because <laughs> I like, like I say, you're just downloading random files. Okay. And I got one of these files that I downloaded was this uh, hentai that I can't remember the title, it had angel in the name. Um, there's there's a lot of there's 90s. There's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had an angel in the name. I'm like, what if I just, what if I just put this title into LimeWire and see what comes up? And there were like six titles that came up. So as a kid, I'm like, I'm I'll download all of them. I'm downloading all of this. <laughs> How to destroy your laptop speed run. Did you, oh, did, you did you ruin any laptops or PCs? Oh, fuck yeah. oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I blamed it on my brother and he totally got blamed for it, but it was totally me. The yeah. first laptop. I, I couldn't blame it on anyone because I'm the oldest in the family. <laughs> so. yeah. I, I, I think that I would have been, I think the, re the reason why, and I, I just realized this now, because I was wondering what the fuck was I doing between like 13 and 18? Like yeah, I couldn't yeah. think about it. Like, And I just realized, I was like cripplingly like addicted to Xbox. Like I, <laughs> it was like every second I got free, I was playing Call of Duty. Like that was like, uh, cause yeah, I was yeah, with yeah. your friends as well, right? And that's, that's like the like the golden age of like playing games where you yeah, get to play yeah. with your friends after yeah. school. It was like immediately when I was done, I'd go home play games until I had to go to bed. And that was like the golden age of COD as well. Oh right? my God, that was perfect. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 yeah. came out when I was like, um, like 15, 16, yeah. mm -hmm. which was like, like the perfect time to play it. I yeah. think I think I had an age, uh, like a gap as well that I didn't watch anime and it was around the same time. Yeah. I know exactly why I wasn't, but I'm not gonna say it cause it's probably not appropriate for you. <laughs> <laughs> but oh God. You, you can take a guess as to what that might be. Yeah. But, um, but weirdly enough, even though like during that gap until like probably the last year of like uh, yeah. high school, mm -hmm. I was still reading manga like religiously. Wow. Yeah. So, so I don't know what it is. It's like, I had this burnout with anime mm. or maybe just like a, a loss of interest with anime. Yeah. But yeah. for some reason, manga was like always this one thing that I would just 
come home and just read the shit out of. Probably just a little more engaging almost. You have to like actively make an effort. Probably. Yeah. And also because I just like reading in general, I yeah. think. So yeah. So I mean like a question to you guys. What drew you to anime over like cartoons or other things? Like what drew you to this medium specifically? As a um, child as or a, like as a kid or, and growing up as well. For me, it was just the fact that my mom would just push it a lot because yeah. it was the she knew that it was the easiest way for me to keep appreciate my the Japanese, Japanese culture. Yeah, God, I'm so like fucking jealous. Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I'm so every time I realized Joey was born on Japanese household, <laughs> speak Japanese. Yeah. God, I like like, like my mom knew that like if I just kept talking to her in Japanese, yeah, you, it you would most it. likely stick. But she wanted me to like not just be like competent in Japanese. She like really appreciate wanted me to, the whole like, culture. Really like yeah. yeah, not just appreciate the culture, but also like excel in Japanese. Yeah, 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 yeah. and like. Thank God, because now I I think I have. Yeah. And like, you know, I have learned to like appreciate the culture and just anime in general and the language. And like, I did like, you know, learn a fuck ton of Japanese. Even though I say it all in a lot of videos, don't use anime to learn Japanese. Yeah. I kind of help them admit, I learned a lot of Japanese from watching anime, I mean, reading it's, manga. Any amount of language that you take in mm. to learn, like if you're watching anything in a language, it's good. You know, yeah. it'll help. Like, like, is I it feel the best like, way? I feel like as a kid, you just absorb it through osmosis or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, you do. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like I, I remember learning Thai just because I was what, like, you know, whenever I'd go to yeah. Thailand, I would just, I would just absorb it whenever I was talking to my family mm. or just watching TV shows. Did you learn any Thai from the Thai dubs of Dragon Ball? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd love to hear a Kamehameha in Thai. That would... <laughs> it's probably the same. No, it's the same. Oh, it's, okay, the same. Okay. it's the same. Um, it's just very bad quality. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's, it's kind of like I don't know. There wasn't a lot of money put into yeah. the dubbing industry. I, I reckon so oh, back then as well. Exactly. I mean, yeah, exactly. Still not that much to be fair. Yeah, yeah to be true. Yeah. So and we all we all learned, know a second language then purely because we were just raised in yeah. the area where it was spoken. Yeah, yeah. But the thing as well was when you were a kid, you know you have way more time to just sit there and absorb it. When you're an adult, it's like, oh, yeah. I get 10 minutes a day on Duolingo, maybe, right? Yeah. Whereas a kid, it's like eight hours of just, you're hearing this stuff. So obviously, oh, yeah. obviously you're gonna pick it up. But I yeah. mean, I was just like, yeah. uh, like from as far as I can remember with my childhood, like the only memories I have is just like, either watching anime, reading manga, or like watching cartoons. Right, right, right. Yeah. So already just from that, like two thirds of my childhood essentially is me yeah. just absorbing the Japanese language in like any mm. way possible. Right. So I think that just, help me a fuck. Like if I never got into anime or manga, I would like to think that I would be nowhere near as good right. at the language as I am now. I think definitely for me, when I was watching anime, the thing that appealed to me, especially my younger age is that, like I said earlier, like there's more of a structure, right? And there's yeah. always an overarching like point mm, and yeah. there's normally a journey to go on. And also I felt like, you know, I mean, this wasn't a problem back then when with our cartoons, you know, the ones that we grew up with, but yeah. I felt like anime didn't treat the audience stupid. You know, like no, if, no, if no. you're if you're like 16, 18, yeah. you know, maybe you don't want to watch Pokemon, but you can still appreciate it and enjoy it. Right, and, right, right. and I felt that like some cartoons, I mean, I mean, you can watch Samurai Jack any age, right? There's timeless, yeah, yeah, but yeah. there was a lot when I was growing up that very treated you as a kid, right? Whereas Pokemon mm. was like, you're a teenager, you're going on a journey. Yeah. You're gonna catch Pokemon. And it was so cool to like imagine yourself as that. Like, it sounds dumb. Wait, how but, old like, was Ash again? 10. Ash, 10. 10, ten, yeah. ten but I mean, but I mean, he had his shit together for a 10 year old, right? <laughs> no, like, he did. Like, yeah, and, and Brock is like, <laughs> like 35 or something. Right? Like, yeah. I'm kind like, of why sus, is he hanging out sus. with this kid? Like, what the fuck? Like, can you imagine a mom just letting a 10 year old right, go off right. into the fucking world <laughs> by himself <laughs> with a fucking rat to keep him company? I mean, wasn't the whole joke that like the mom sent her off so that she could some. like have an affair with <laughs> Professor Oak? Like, wasn't that the whole thing? Just Brock commits crimes and like, yeah, I guess that was really irresponsible of us to let him go with a 35 year old man. And how yeah, is like yeah. Misty okay with like Ash hanging out when like this 10 year old kid like throws your bike into a river. It's like, I'll pay you back. How, how also oh do you, as like a 10 year old Ash, yeah. do you have any concept of Brock constantly hitting on people? What do you, <laughs> how do you like perceive that? Like, like what is that to you as a 10 year old? Like, imagine being Brock and just leaving your family and your job to like follow this like, 10 year old. He just totally ditched his yeah, job. No, he did. That's so no, irresponsible. No, remember <laughs> Misty though. Yeah. He had a massive family as well. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck are you doing Brock? You had like 10, Brothers and sisters, what are you doing? Needless but, to say, that kind of reckless behavior really appealed to me as a kid, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just up and leaving my family that I was supporting. With leaving my, my family for what? To follow this 10 year old so I can go slay some puss. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like strangely reminiscent of like Hisoka from Hunter Hunter. It's like grown man just wants to follow a kid around, see him grow. Just uh, The biggest just thing for me though, with like Pokemon that just made no sense to yeah. me is how 
Gary Oak yeah. is like essentially the same age as Ash and yeah. yet he yeah. can get like all this puss. Is it is it bad that like I actually like liked <laughs> Gary, Gary more no. than Ash. And <laughs> no, I loved it when he was yeah. a dick to Ash. So I'm like, yeah, you should be catching no, Pokemon be Ash. Because he was actually achieving the goal yeah. of yeah. trying to become a Pokemon master. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You know what's, like, I feel like as a kid, maybe you appreciate Ash more, but as an adult, you're like, you know, Gary's kind of got a shit together. Yeah. Like, Gary's achieving his dreams. No, like, no, yeah. Yeah, he, it was cool that you saved that Butterfree and reunited him, Ash, but like- But, Gary, a, but Gary has 10 badges. <laughs> yeah. They're not even 10 badges in the game. Did, He's did, on Butterf like, did Butterfree he, start a Patreon and pay your bills? <laughs> no, he didn't. Go Gary's, and get a job, Ash. <laughs> Gary's on like a gold split speed run of this entire shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing 80% Pokemon before speed running was a thing. <laughs> Any percent in like getting all the pusses. Yeah. Right? Like he was doing it all. Like that man, that man did it all. Like, and yet we still were supposed to hate him. Like, oh, you had the fucking cheerleaders with him as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I remember there was one episode, like I think when they were like, when Ash was about to like go to like Koga, I think. Yeah. And yeah. Gary just rocks up in a fucking like- Lamborghini. Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> with like 10 chicks just be like, you're still here. I've already got all the bags. And I'm just like, who's driving the car? <laughs> Yeah, not, not only is he an expert Pokemon master, he's a logistic expert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting all these women around, yeah. always in his Lamborghini. Of course. But he doesn't worry about parking tickets, you know? No. Come on, I mean, like, <laughs> Ash is walking everywhere. Like, <laughs> the, <laughs> point, two point, 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 point being, as an adult, I think Ash is kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely as a kid, that whole kind of structure and the kind of, you know, going on a journey. I was very, I, were you guys like, did you guys feel really like disappointed when Ash got beaten in the Pokemon. Oh league. yeah. I was like, yeah. this is our destiny. Like, he yeah. formed these artificial bonds with these Pokemon and it fucking Charizard had the balls to sleep at the final fight. Are you serious Charizard? It Sorry. was like, as a kid, it was like top 10 anime twist of all. Yeah, no, top was, 10 anime betrayal <laughs> of all time. <laughs> all time. <laughs> Charizard, like, he saved you, bro. He saved you, help him please. <laughs> there's actually uh, there's actually this really funny thing I found the other day when I was looking right. up at like Pokemon speed runs. Yeah. Yeah. That, th you know, there's a thing called Ash percent. Oh, I think, yeah, I saw this. Where saw you it. have to play the game exactly, the like Ash catch every it. Pokemon exactly in the same order oh my that Ash God. did. You have to release your Butterfree, you have to release your Charizard, and then you have to purposely lose at the Elite Four. <laughs> <laughs> that That's, would drive me mental, I know. man. It's like, it's oh like my God. Shirtless Mario speedrun. Yeah. Right? Uh, Super Mario <laughs> Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, you, do, you basically just do a speedrun of Super Mario Odyssey where you try and get Mario shirtless as quick as possible. Yeah, nipple percent. That's it's such the, a good I love the troll speedruns. Anyway, we got off topic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, I don't know, what about, was it the same thing as well for you as a kid? Yeah, I, like, I, I don't know, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but it was this huge overarching plot. Like they had a goal and mm. they were working towards a goal. Like Pokemon turned out to me my, like as, as I watched more anime, I yeah. started liking Pokemon less and less. Like mm. when I, things like Digimon came out and they had an actual like story arc oh, instead Digimon of being well, cut yeah. by Charizard <laughs> <laughs> at the most crucial moment. Um, Digimon for me was probably the moment when I actually fell in love with anime. Yeah. You want to know something? I never watched the Digimon anime. Did you not? I, I watched it. The only things, I, the only the, anything Digimon that I, ever like consumed are the two movies. I oh. played the games as well as a kid. And the only thing I remember is them being hard as fuck. Oh, they are. Like, oh, there are games with that? There's games yeah. and, and like, I think, uh, at least the Digimon World games. Mm, I don't know yeah. how old they are. I remember like the, they're like some of the hardest games to get like full completion of yeah, any games yeah, yeah. ever. Like they're like insane. And I remember as a kid thinking like, what the fuck? Why can't I get past the first level? This is, <laughs> I beat all of Pokemon in French. I, what the hell? Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I never, I don't know what it is. Maybe because I was just so obsessed with Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. But like, I always knew Digimon was a thing, yeah, yeah. but I never watched any of the- It was anime. always the joke as a kid, right? You were like the fucking comedian. If you were yeah. like, I guess you're the Digimon though. <laughs> like, you know what you, I mean? You were the I Digimon was, kid. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, no one wants to be the Digimon kid. I, I, I have a question for you specifically, because okay. obviously this doesn't apply to you, but right. did you like as a kid have a sense of like, oh, I kind of like this whole like Japanese culture thing whenever it propped up, you know, in like TV or anything. Like, I mean, to me, it was less of a, less exotic. Cause to me it right. was like Asian culture. I guess, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it was, it, it was, I had seen more of it because I, you know, I, I didn't exactly grow up in Thailand, but mm. I would visit there at least once a year. Right. So I'd spend like my summer holidays yeah. in Thailand every year. So seeing some of the more Japanese culture or the more Asian oriented yeah. culture, it's not that different from what you get from flying to Asia. Like mm. Japanese specific, like say onigiri. I didn't, had no idea what the fuck onigiri jelly is. Donuts? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jelly, sorry, donuts. jelly donuts. But I could see that, oh, it was just a ball of 
rice. Yeah. I know what huh. rice is. I can see what this I, is. I guess it's a difference of me coming from, you know, the whitest place on earth <laughs> and, and not, not being exposed to any other, especially Asian cultures, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the only Asian exposure I had, you know, apart from media, was just like, the shitty Chinese shop that, you know, down the road, which <laughs> yeah. like we had awful Chinese. And and so I think whenever I saw Japanese stuff in media, I thought it was so cool. Like yeah. I, it's gonna sound so fucking dumb that I'm gonna say this, right? <laughs> Go on. Do you, know, do you remember like Jackass the movie or whatever, where they, where they, where like one of them goes to Japan. <laughs> oh yeah. And he starts like just stripping in a store and dancing. Yeah. yeah the yeah. whole time I just ignored that. I was like, dude, look at those fucking appliances they had. <laughs> I thought it was so cool. They had all these appliances in the store yeah, that like yeah, I've yeah. never seen them. Like, cause in the West, we never got those like TV and radio built in things. Yeah. And like, they had like the numbers on the side. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought those were cool as fuck as a kid. And then obviously watching like Samurai stuff. And then Samurai Jack was a huge thing that made me think like, I fucking love Samurai. Yeah. Kid. Oh like, yeah. They were like the coolest things to me. Yeah. I think I think it was either like, re depending on if you were into anime or not, yeah. like yeah. the two things that got people into Samurai yeah. were either Samurai Jack or The Last dude, Samurai. I, I can yeah. still watch Samurai Jack today and like fucking love everything. Dude, the newest season was fucking awesome. Oh my awesome. God, dude, Samurai I fucking Jack. cried like a baby. Yeah. Samurai yeah. Jack is just a fucking great show, Amazing. period. Yeah. No, Samurai I mean. Jack was like the one Cartoon Network show other than Ed and Nettie that my yeah. dad would be just as excited to watch with so me. So good. He was like, dude, Samurai Jack's on, move, just, move just, out of the way. Like, oh, I remember like the episode with like the assassin. Do you remember this one with the, like the, he had the robot dog mm, and, it, and oh, I love yeah. that episode. Yeah, That's yeah, one of my yeah. favorites. But uh, I think in, in my head, looking back now, I feel like it was inevitable that I was going to get into anime. Cause mm, yeah. I, I had like a fondness for Japanese culture. Like it wasn't like intense or weeby or anything. I liked yeah. the movies. I liked the, like all the culture that I saw. Mm. I loved video games and yeah. being a video game fan, you're going to run into like oh, stuff course, that yeah. you're like, huh, why is it like this? And you're yeah. like, oh, it's Japanese. Yeah. And then also watching anime from a young age and like, yeah. So I felt like it was inevitable at some point in my life, I was going to find anime mm. and be like, I fucking love this shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause I feel I've, I completely forgot about video games and just like yeah. JRPGs and Oh, mm. it's, it's a big push. You don't realize no, how much of it, like a push exactly. And, the, and I realized a lot of the same story tropes that drew me to anime, like I liked in JRPGs and that's right, why I right, got really right. into JRPGs as well. Um, I guess, do you remember the time when Japan just felt like this foreign oh, yeah. concept? <laughs> oh like, yeah, yeah. Like this was way, this is way past even when me discovering anime. Yeah. But I, I remember like after discovering anime and start discovering Naruto and everything, you know, it, it was so weird to find anyone who went to Japan or see any kind of like Japanese media, yeah. mm. even outside of the Japan. Yeah. I, I feel like it's only recently become a tourist destination. Like yeah, it's, yeah. you know, oh, like yeah. like if, if my, my parents who like never want to leave Europe, right? Like mm. they're like, if it's not Europe, it's not a vacation. If they're considering like, oh, Korea and Japan sounds cool. Like if they're done like that, I'm like, okay, well now I guess everyone's up to it now. Are they like, thinking that? Yeah, they, they, they were planning that, not just cause I lived here, but they were gonna, they wanted to come out anyway. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, I, I feel like there's that kind of mainstreamness of it anyway is, is really like had a big impact recently. Cause I remember when I first started watching stuff on YouTube, there was no like vloggers. No, Except for like, no. I remember watching like a Chris Broad video mm. from like years ago. Yeah. And he was like the only guy, right? He was one of the OGs. Right. I'd like to think, yeah. And, and I remember back, back then, like if you wanted to find something in Japanese, it had to be like a BBC documentary. Yeah. Of, like, yeah, yeah. Someone going there, right? Yeah. Like it was not a YouTube The thing. weird yeah. wacky right. world of Japan. Right, right. Yeah. Whereas yeah. now like, you can find out anything you want about exactly. this country. Like it's not hard, but I remember, yeah, like same thing. Like you'd, I no see, you'd, see, you'd see these weird commercials. Um, you'd see like these clips from these talk shows or the variety shows yeah. and you're like, what the fuck is going on in this country? <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. There was that giant like Takeshi's Castle booth. Oh, oh my God. I forgot about I, that. Dude, uh, Takeshi's Castle aired at 7 a.m. every day on, <laughs> on Challenge. And I used to wake up early before school and I would like watch every episode. I don't think you I, guys get this excited. For this dude, I, I just totally glossed over that. Like I literally watched Takeshi's Castle all throughout high school. No, even, no, same Even in. though it was reruns, I yeah, fucking yeah. loved it every time. Yeah, yeah. you, you, you so just fun. watch the same episodes over and over. It's like it's like watching Top Gear and Dave, yeah. you know, it's like, it's it's something you can always watch over yeah. and over. And it was just so fucking weird. It's only should, recently should. that I found out though, that like Takeshi's Castle, you guys had reruns of Takeshi's Castle. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I found that really interesting because that's a show from the eighties. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's strange. Cause I think America has their own version as well. By yeah. the way, Takeshi's Castle is this kind of, what is it called? The most extreme game show, is it called in Japan? Pretty much. It's like the Ninja Warrior. Or something like that. It's that's like, less like the modern yeah. day. It's modern like day Ninja Warrior, version. but imagine if it was like 
all the contestants were just everyday people yeah. and it was horribly unfair. <laughs> yeah. It was so unfair and it was yeah. so fun. And it was just brutal. These these courses, they would just send people and they would they would. It was basically fail. Ninja Warrior crossed with Jackass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Cause it looked dangerous. Some of the courses <laughs> looked so fucking dangerous. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why they don't do that show anymore. No, no, it's no. Like legit OHS. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that show had a huge following in the UK because of really? that. And, and and I think in America it did as well, but each, each localization had a different style to it. So the Japanese one obviously just showed the show. Yeah. The British one had like this- uh, Craig Charles. Craig Charles, who's a, quite a famous person back in yeah. the nineties, right? Yeah, yeah, because he did Robot Wars. And right, right, oh, right. Was, and okay. um, yeah. it, it was really big. And in America, they had like a kind of, imagine like a pseudo kind of uh, football commentators being like, what do you think of that, Jeff? Yeah, it was like, <laughs> it was supposed to be like a kind of like jokey thing. So I actually watched clips of it. It's, yeah, I don't think yeah. it's as good, but each country had its own localization. Yeah, and the yeah, one yeah. in the UK was huge. Mm, Cause yeah. I remember there was petitions, even when I was like 16, 17, people wanting to bring it back, but mm. I mean, how can you bring it back when <laughs> they're just dubbing over the old yeah, clips, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. But uh, Thailand actually had, I think a version like like a few years ago as well. They, oh, made, did they? they made their own version. I, I no Cause clue. I remember watching it and thinking like, nope, not the same. It no, just didn't, no. didn't quite scratch it. But that was a huge factor in why also I love Japanese culture. Cause yeah. you watch that show and like, it's- It's yeah, hilarious. It's crazy. It's amazing. And it's also a blatantly extremely Japanese. Yeah, like you're yeah. seeing you're like katakana kanji everywhere. Like it's obviously just like, it's it's purely Japanese. It's like ADHD, right? like editing, you know what I mean? Oh, it's, it's pure like, uh, yeah, that's my first introduction to like pure, crazy Japanese yeah. editing. Pure chaos. I don't know about what it is about Japanese variety shows. It's just about having as much information on screen to like distract <laughs> your eyes as possible. A a after as making YouTube videos, I've, I've come to like feel sorry for every Japanese editor <laughs> oh, with the dude. sheer amount of text they have to put on the screen, yeah. oh changing colors and shit popping up everywhere. <laughs> because everybody's dialogue has subtitles. Yeah. And it's like, we can hear them fine. Don't yeah. worry yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. Do you know what I hate? When I, whenever I see like an anime trailer yeah. and it's from like Japanese TV. So they always got like this guy reacting to it or something like oh, that. Oh, in the corner. Yeah, yeah, the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not even reacting that much. Yeah. They're just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. Thing. I don't understand about game shows. They'll have like yeah. a really like, like normal thing and they'll just have a guy in the corner like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> or it's like a really interesting behind the scenes clip of this anime or show. Yeah. Or like one of like I remember seeing like the Giorno clip of the guy doing Muda, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. and it's just a guy reacting in the corner. I was like, I don't give a shit about that guy yeah. taking a valuable screen. Get yeah, I know. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, I watch the guy doing the Muda. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, I have to say though, like with Takeshi's Castle, yeah. like I fucking loved growing up. Like, oh my watching god, it, what but a show! What was your guys' like favorite like segment of that show? Because for me, like to this day, if I have a bad day. I'll always watch clips of Lotion Staircase. See, I think they had different names for them. In yeah, the yeah, yeah. The challenges, because oh, they have like okay. title screens. That yeah. You could tell that they cop tried to mimic. I mean, yeah. did you guys watch like the Lotion Staircase one? Is Where that- they, It's like a giant staircase and it's just covered in lotion. And they oh, have to try to yeah, get to yeah, the top yeah. of it. I remember that one. I, I, I like I the, the one where they would, uh, the, the honeycomb maze, like the hexagon maze, oh, where they would yeah. come in. It was basically this maze and like, and you got a, a up top down view, which is yeah. so good. And you would see them go through this maze and there'd basically be these fucking dudes who just grab them in the face and like <laughs> throw them around. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then there's also like the rolling things that they would oh, try and yeah, run yeah, on yeah, that yeah, looked yeah. impossible. Oh, yeah. No, the one the one that sticks out to my mind is the one where they're like rock skipping, like just oh, like- that was you, dangerous. You, you, fucking, you fucking go full pelt over these like rocks over a river and some of the rocks would just would just sink. Yeah. Now just yeah. imagine if like you're running full pelt and then one of the rocks sinks and you just face plants into <laughs> a real rock. rock. Oh my God, that I, looks painful. If you haven't watched it, you're in for a treat. It, yeah. It's just, it's so good. It's such good fun. I don't think a show like that could, could happen no, today. No. <laughs> and, like, and it's not just Takeshi's Castle. There are like, I've oh, realized God. there are so many shows that either America or the UK or like just some Western country has like ripped yeah. off like Silent Library yeah. Oh, and yeah. like Wipeout or like they're all, and even like Ninja Warrior. They're all yeah. like originally Japanese oh, shows. I love yeah. Ninja Warrior yeah. watching the but Japanese they, version. They could never go as crazy as the Japanese no, version. No, no, you know no. what I mean? Yeah, no, it's crazy. I mean, I think that was definitely game shows. Like everything kind of got me into anime, right? Mm -hmm. Like it was just that kind of buildup of, I kind of think this culture is kind of sick, right? And I, I like what they do. I like all the media that they put out. Like yeah. it just jives with me, right? And I, yeah. I just seem to enjoy it. And then I, I remember the first like anime anime, right? This is where we're talking about like finally getting into like 
the Modern shit. Day. Right? Yeah, like yeah. The shit. Yeah. I remember I really, for, so, for some reason, I wanted to be like a TV and film snob. I don't know why. I wanted to be like, I've seen everything. You know, right, like. Right. Did you go through the yeah, IMDb yeah, top you know, 100 yeah. phase? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, so, God. I think, I feel like everyone's gone to this point. Yeah, right? yeah. Everyone I, in uni. Everyone yeah, in uni. uni. Yeah. I, I feel like uni was a big. It was in a, because I, I just finished watching like 24 in Prison Break and I was feeling like, man, I'm, I'm such a TV connoisseur. <laughs> I've watched Prison Break in 24. So I went to, Went through the list and a, and Death Note was like eighth or something at the time. Oh my god! Wow. And I and I this must have been like 2012, yeah. 12, 13. Yeah. Right. And I skipped it initially because I'm like I'm not watching fucking cartoons. I'm, yeah. not, I'm a grown ass man. I grew up because again, I was real shows. again because like you know my parents and and all my family and cousins and whatever like they were telling you like dude stop watching cartoons right you're an right, adult right. right so I I initially skipped it but for some reason I did a double take like two or three weeks later read the synopsis and I thought okay. This sounds pretty fucking sick, actually. Yeah, yeah. And if it's in the top 10, it's gotta be pretty good, right? Yeah. Watched one episode. I I had to school the next day, yeah. but I stayed up the whole night up until school. I had to leave with two episodes left yeah. to watch. So oh. I, I, I binged it the whole season of Death Note yeah, in one yeah. night. And oh my God, I just immediately like became obsessed. Like it was yeah, like overnight, yeah. I had just come, like ev all my other plans to watch all these famous movies and TV shows, yeah. like, get that out of here. <laughs> Someone on YouTube said, watch Code Geass. So I'm going to do that next. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, obviously that phase where you discover all like the golden anime, mm. it's <sighs> just like banger after banger. And it's like three months straight where you're just like, all you think about is watching the next anime. God, yeah. like remember that phase? I've missed that phase oh my God, so I much. Wish, where everything you watched, was amazing. Even oh like I God. look back at some of the shit now, even like the, sh the shitty yeah. stuff. Even the shitty, like I, I remember that. going through this phase where I was I was obsessed with Love Hina, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> I think everyone had that phase back okay. in the day. Okay, if we all had that phase back in the day, can I ask what was the show that ruined that for you? Like, do you remember? <gasps> I Cause I know exactly what it was for me. No, because like, I, I feel like once you watched enough anime, you're, you, you start like, do you, do you remember the feeling of the void, right? Mm. Yeah. The void where you watch this really, really good show. Yeah. You're like, no one's going to top this. Mm. Not Nothing's going to top this. And you just feel empty. And then, and then and you hear Jim Buo. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the more shows you watch, the more the, the, the more that void shrinks right. until like you find the next amazing show. And right. then you're like, and then you watch enough and then you you find like your top 10 favorite shows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's, that's kind of when it starts cementing for me to like, to the next phase where you start watching stuff and it's not as good a feeling as when you first yeah. started. Mm -hmm. um, so what was it for you then? School days. <laughs> cause cause I, 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 just, I, just, I distinctly remember this and, it, and I remember being really annoyed about it. Yeah. And I'm not saying that for the meme, it's totally accurate. Cause- Why can I never escape school days? Okay, you wanna, know, you wanna know what's even worse, right? Is that, so I was watching anime on YouTube still at this point, right? right? So, right. Um, and I remember, cause I, I would get, I'd go to my anime list. Cause that's what everyone did, right? Like you would look at which ones are high rated and which ones, you know. For some reason, school days was like one of the highest rated. <laughs> I, and I have, but but it was like it was like it was like split right between like it was either a ten or a two. Yeah. yeah. And I thought I'm gonna be in the ten category because yeah. everything I've watched so far, I fucking love. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so first off, I already had a bad start with watching School Days because right. I remember watching School Days HQ or something, and it was like or like a spinoff. It was like forty no, minutes. No, 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 no. Of school, school Days HQ to explain is the v original visual novel of School Days, but the original visual novel of School Days was basically just a full on anime, yeah. right? It oh. was all animated. Okay. I didn't know that. This is the first time I just found that out. Yeah. I, I, so you can watch. You can watch all of School Days HQ on something like Pornhub or yeah. X Videos, which uh, if you're really just like- X looking, hamster, no hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> if you're really just looking to watch the, uh, you know, clips that you're looking for, you can just find it on Oh, there. and they would have showed the clips in that. I didn't get that far. I got about, cause it was a 40 minute episode one. Right. Yeah. And I watched 40 minutes and I was like, this isn't, this doesn't seem right. Am I watching the right thing? Like ev <laughs> everyone's saying it's good. Like, is this right? <laughs> It's so funny that you say like the school days like Mal is either like a 10 or a 2. That's, yeah, I yeah, was yeah. definitely one of those people who put it as a 10. I know you did, you piece of shit. Cause, cause I know exactly what, what mine- What is going on here? I yeah. know what mindset you were in where you were like, every, I'm, I'm in the fucking herd. I gotta what say yes. What is going on? <laughs> Why am I sitting next to someone who gave school days a 10? Okay, look. He's that sheep, right? Who everyone else has said it at 10. And he doesn't want to be that one guy who's like, I don't think I have good taste. No, I have good taste. I can appreciate it. So that's Scott, because for me, right? Like school days was like, Garbage. it was crap until the last episode because the last episode I was like, 
Uh, First of all, I remember just like sitting there. I'm, we're obviously not going to say it, but I'm sure there's lots of people who know. No, if you don't know what happened to the end of school days. Na, 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 <laughs> Boat Kun comes na, out, right? Na, Everyone knows. Na, but like na, na. school days for me, th that ending yeah. was like, the most satisfying thing I'd ever seen in anime. Okay, okay. I will give you that. It yeah. was satisfying, but then I remembered like, I just sat through 11 of the most boring shit in my life. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think this is uh, big enough to redeem yeah. it. Like the first the first 11 episodes was just like, I think I need anger management right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> because, yeah. Because, oh my God, I hate the main character so much. Oh and then, my God, and then, I hated like, him. And then the fucking orgasm you got at episode 12 where what happened happens and you're yeah. like, Oh, yeah. Okay. That Thank for me, God. that ending for me made it a 10. No. Like, I was no, like, I was no, like, for no, me, for me, no. I specifically remember I'm like, I'm glad I went through those 11 episodes because no, I got no, to that's, watch that's, the most satisfying ending that's I've ever that seen. That is bullshit. That's <laughs> recency bias, right? Because you're, you're basing your review of how it ended, not how the fucking, the absolute. Shit truck that you had to like shovel through. Okay, no, but like, there. but here's the thing, right? Like, I I've said this so many times in videos, but like, the ending for me is so fucking important because, like, I had the exact you got that, opposite. You got that goldfish brain, the no. one that like tunes everything <laughs> out. Because before I had the <laughs> exact opposite experience with Dead Man Wonderland. No, I still no, like no. Dead Man Wonderland because, because Dead Man Wonderland for me was amazing first yeah. ten episodes, and the ending was just the most garbage, bullshitty. Like, okay, we ran out of budget ending that I've ever seen. That yeah. it just completely ruined the experience. But that doesn't mean it's a one. One. I mean, it, it may, no, no. It may. I didn't put Dead Man Wonderland. What'd you give? What'd no, no. you get Dead Man Wonderland? The anime? Yeah, like yeah. a five. What? No, no, it's better than a five. Because then I read the manga, and the manga is infinitely better. You think so? Yeah. I thought where the because manga... the manga actually ends. Did unlike you like the, the ending of the anime. manga though? It's better than the fucking anime. <laughs> I guess. I remember reading Dead Man Wonderland, and I kind of liked what it did a little bit, but the ending I wasn't too big of a fan of in the manga. Right. But, but I, ex I, but anyway, I enjoyed it, top. even if it was like a mediocre ending, right? Like at least you at got least, an ending. At least I got an okay ending. Whereas the anime okay. just left me wanting more. And I'm like, don't cock tease me like that after 10 but, amazing episodes. But would you rather a show that has like 10 amazing episodes with, with no ending or 24 episodes with 10 amazing episodes and then it starts to go kind of, man, the ending's a little questionable. Uh, the first. Right, really? that's what we got with Dead Man there. Yeah, right, we, got, we got ten yeah. bangers, and that's then, why. Like, yeah, but, but like, I'm, I'm trying. I'm just trying to like wrap my head around how you could justify the school days. School days. Okay, okay. Let me, I've, I've like I've just been <laughs> sitting here for like the past few minutes having a fucking mental breakdown by myself. <laughs> let me let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. Okay, I I had so many opinion changes on the ending to School Days, like so okay. many times. Okay, so what right. would you give School Days now then? Now I would give it. A six. No, 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 no. I had a phase, I had a phase no. where I'm like, is this ending genius or is it the worst it's garbage that I've ever genius. seen? If, if I, if I like, you know, if I make a character that is so <laughs> fucking abhorrent and then I kill him off, I don't, yeah. you shouldn't be- He's not even that's, a good character. That, that's like, that's, He's not a good yeah, character. It's, it's but like, that's exactly the reason why the ending no, was so satisfying. It's, it's satisfying, but it's just so fucking surface level. You know yeah, what I, I mean? mean? I wouldn't watch it again. Cause he, he, like this protagonist is the one that we follow. He made this character dog shit on purpose, but then there's also little bits where he tries to make you like the guy. And that's the worst right. part. And that's what I fucking hate. It's like, no, don't try to make me sympathize with this cunt. <laughs> He just, he just had like a threesome in like class 3B. Like what the fuck? He just had like a, he's supposed to be a dad or I, some I shit. I loved, the, that's the one character development that, uh, what the fuck is it? Makoto had, that's, that was his name. Makoto, that was yeah. his, I complete, he, cause he's so fucking bland. Yeah. I couldn't even remember his fucking, I can't remember <laughs> any of the character I names. Love, I love the one character what? development Makoto had is that yeah. he started out as this like absolute simp for Sekai yeah. and then just yeah, turned yeah. into these most like fucking- Kotonaha, Kotonaha. that Kotonaha. was a yeah, fucking yeah. name. Yeah. He, he oh became my God. like the Giga Chat. Giga like, Chat. Like, like, <laughs> like, I, and, and the episode for me that made me like, had to like pause and go like, <laughs> was like the when, when they wanted to have like a threesome or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I, I like paused it and I was like. <laughs> chot, chot, chot the mate. Like, chot, chot the I, fucking mate. I was, like, I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh like, no, and it was so like, Poor, like it was literally a porn plot, how it happened yeah, as well. Yeah, no, no, because it, like, it is a fucking yeah, porn plot. Yeah, it was, School Days HQ is a porn plot. That's the worst thing about it, right? Is that they try and sell you that it's not a porn <laughs> plot. And then they hit you with the in front of my salad plot. And you're like, no, 
this isn't what I want. Like, and the fact that people on Mal had the fucking balls to be like, this is an artistic masterpiece of our generation. I'm definitely and, that yeah. one guy who said that. I'm like, this like, ending is absolutely genius. You guys just the, don't the understand. The timing is impeccable. It's like, no, it's like, it's like, yeah, okay. If my dog got rabies and I watched it die for, for three hours. Yeah, I'd probably see it put down. It would be satisfying, right? Because it's just suffering. That's what that anime was. It was just suffering. I fucking hated it. And the fact that I had to then watch 40 minutes of a let's play or whatever the fuck it was of the first thing. See, I didn't watch that. And the worst part was is that imagine, okay, before you could even start the dog shit pile that is uh, fucking school days, you had to watch 40 minutes of the same thing before yeah. you started the same thing again. So I remember watching the first episode already bored out of my mind because I'd seen this shit before in a, in a slightly different way. Oh and I was like, I hate, okay, I hate school days. No, no, I let's, let's, let's end it. Let's school day sucks, car. I'm just having a fucking mental breakdown right now because I thought I had left school days in the past. Yeah. I never thought I'd hear those two words again. And I never <laughs> thought I'd be sitting next to the guy who, you know, cause, cause I remember that mouth phase and I thought they must, everyone must be trolling. Yeah. This is like the interspecies reviewers kind of thing. Everyone's giving this a 10. Everyone's being fucking <laughs> ironic. There's no way that there can be a guy I, I'm who sure actually- they were. I'm, I'm sure there were, yeah. I'm sure there were, but I, I can't imagine, I couldn't imagine you unironically gave it a 10. I, 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 I just can't, I just. I, I just remember like- What people, is happening? I, I, had a fa I had a video, like this is a video. Well, yeah, you, you corrected your opinion. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. So Not the, enough. I, I made two videos, I made two videos. I had I had a video, the first video I ever made on school days was right after I finished watching it. Mm. And I, I think it's like a six year old video. And yeah. it's called like, is the school days ending a masterpiece? Or something like oh that. My I don't know. Oh my God. And it was just like me going like, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, but okay. It's like, it's like imagine if Code Geass is ending, right? You had yeah. that. But then 25 episodes was just us follow, following like like Nunnally, like just yeah. her daily life. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like that shit's boring as, I don't want to fucking- it's, it's like, it wasn't like the, okay. The ending was satisfying, hmm. but it was just, it was just a boring show. It was a boring show for half of it. And then the second half was just like anger management. I, I think I gave it such a high score <laughs> because I just appreciated the meta behind how the director and producer chose the literal worst ending of any visual novel in existence. Yeah. It, it was like grade A trolling in my opinion. And I think that's why I said it was kind of genius. I mean, it's definitely different. Yeah, right? yeah, that ending yeah. was not like an ending like that. We, you don't really, have we seen well, because anything Because there's like a that reason since? why we're still talking about school days after fucking how many years of it since but, it's been out? Yeah, but okay, here, here's the thing, right? Is that sometimes, <laughs> what what is a good ending, right? Is it, yeah. is, do, we, do we think of it as a good ending? Because it, the story made sense. It really like, in the whole thing, it was like, wow, that's a great ending. It really made sense. All the characters built up to this. No, yeah. it's a good ending because the main character was fucking awful and everyone in that show was God awful. Right. And we, just, yeah. we just wanted to see them get like revenge. But I would yeah, argue yeah. that like, wanted... but I would argue that like an ending that is good, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be memorable. Right, there's a difference between a memorable ending and a good ending. It's a memorable ending, it's, not it's a good a ending. Yeah. But, but <laughs> it's, it's just like pure shock factor, right? Yeah, that's that was, what it that is, was, right? It's just like pure shock factor, and it's got not much substance behind that shock factor, right? right. right? Um, and that was my big problem with School Days, because at least with the visual novel, right. um, you could see fucking sex scenes for one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we can watch the Giga Chat in action. <laughs> Get some tips, he's getting threesomes at like age yeah. 16, oh shit. Exactly. Cause at least in that point, it actually makes made sense why he was getting all this fucking pussy. Did it, yeah. did it though? Did it really? I mean, no, 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 it made sense. Cause he was a fucking hentai, It right? made sense yeah, yeah. in the visual novel, yeah. not in the anime because they didn't explain the hentai subplot. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or the subtext, I guess that it is I, like a hentai. I, I think that was the first time as a teenager that, that I was like, oh, sex again? Like, you know, like, <laughs> really? We're gonna go with sex again? All right, geez. Yeah, okay. but like around that like, time, right? Like that's like the age where like you start to be like beyond those kinds of like sex and poop jokes where it's all about like, if I don't this know, isn't man. like challenging my 16 year old atheist brain, then it's not good material. You know? I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I watched that like pee pee poo poo thing that made me laugh on YouTube like, <laughs> like two weeks ago. So I don't know if yeah, my, exactly. I'm fully gone, but. Right, but like it always goes back, right? Like you laugh at poop jokes at age 10, not at age 15. And then you laugh at poop jokes again at age 20. I, I, being a teenager is fucking weird. That's I guess yeah. that's all <laughs> I could say. It is fucking weird because yeah. teenagers, we horny as fuck, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I guess when you're a teenager, you wanna, 
uh, this is a weird thing that you don't do in a, as an adult, right? When you're an adult, you fully accept what you're into. Yeah, but yeah, as a yeah. teenager, you're like trying to mold your interest into what you think you should right. like. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And I felt like the shows that you watched, which is probably why this guy gave Mal a uh, fucking school days at 10. He's like, I want to be this smart yeah. guy who can, <laughs> who can see through all the bullshit to, to see the oh, masterpiece. No. I will fully admit that's exactly what right, I right. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, I, I did that too, right? Yeah. I'm, I, I, there's, probably a part of me that would argue that Prison Break was a masterpiece of our time, right? <laughs> when I look back now, I'm like, what the fuck was I thinking? I was 15. Yeah. You know, like it's, when you're when you're a teenager, you have dumb opinions, you yeah, know? Like, exactly. Uh, Which is why you should never start an Anitube channel in your teens. <laughs> no, no, no. Because no. you'll very highly regret it later yeah. on. My first video was on fucking Bleach. <laughs> wait, 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 how old are you and you started YouTube then? 17. Oh, oh shit, okay. I, see, I was do, still doing dumb shit up until 20. Yeah, I started yeah. my YouTube at 19, right? <laughs> yeah, I was and 19 I, as well when yeah, I started. And I, yeah, and yeah. I, holy crap, some of the stuff that I said. That I, I look <laughs> back now and you know, you look back and you know the motives as yeah, well yeah. to why you said the dumb shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You oh, would never God. have now, right? Of course. Like you, you're like, oh, I want to be seen in this way. So I'm going to say opinion that isn't really mine, but yeah, I know yeah. people will view me if oh I, you God. know. Like I look back at my, some of my first videos and I fucking cringe, man. I could right, not right, finish right, them. Oh my God. I'm so fucking glad that the way the internet was, it was like the perfect time, I think, for when I was growing up. Cause like, yeah. there was still the kind of thing of, you could say whatever the fuck you wanted and you, oh, you yeah, got yeah, away yeah. with it, right? Like, <laughs> like I, I'm sure I said some fucking horrible stuff on RuneScape and Xbox Live to people, right? That <laughs> oh, like, course, yeah. you know, now, I mean, kind of stuff gets hold against you, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm glad that I had that room to grow, room to know that school days was garbage, you know? without having to make a video about it. I mean, like school days is a masterpiece, guys. Yeah, don't make the same mistake. Like, like, did you actually make a video on it? No. Yeah. Well, you did? You did? Yeah. Oh, is it shit. up on your channel? Yeah, it's on my channel. Oh my oh God. My God. <laughs> we got a lot. It's like we're, a video from like six years ago. Oh, and we're, we're, like, we're watching that we're, tonight. We're watching. Yeah. <laughs> it's like five minutes of me. I can't watch it because it's so cringy, but it's it's like me in like a fucking like, I had like this giant like chopper hat for some reason on. I don't know why I was wearing it. That was, that was like during the era where like, I was known as the guy as to wear the, the weird. Chopper. Hats. Hats. Yeah, I had like a, I had like a chopper hat that was like the huge like chopper hat, oh and I was also God. wearing this like rainbow beanie with like a scarf attached to it and shit. It was I looked gross I mean. to say the least. I don't know why anyone was like, oh yeah, this guy looks good, but like yeah, like unironically, I was like, you know what? Now that I like mulling it over, I think School Days' is ending is really freaking oh good, my fucking oh my God. and it's on my channel right now. Like, <laughs> dude, I'll keep that shit up because I'm it just is getting ad rev. He's yeah. gonna. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, I, keep, I like to keep it up to like kind of remind my audience that like, you know, I yeah. used to be like this, but now obviously I've changed my opinion yeah, yeah. on school days and a lot of shows because I've, as you said, yeah. I've had the room to grow now and the room mm. to watch. Yeah, I, 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 more I, anime. I think it's funny to look back at your old videos where you're cringe as fuck. Yeah, oh, just yeah. to be like, this is what I'm like now, you know? Yeah. I mean, you can see clear improvement. I, mean, I, I like I like seeing the growth, you know? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, definitely, that, that definitely. feels good. It feels, it hurts to watch some of your older videos. I, I actually watched it and I'm like, I sound so much more British. Yeah. My oh, accent yeah, has yeah, changed yeah, yeah. so fucking much. Yeah. And I didn't realize that. I had such that. a Northern accent <laughs> yeah. in the start of YouTube. Well, when I met you, you had like the thickest Welsh accent. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, kind yeah. of been like yeah. destroyed now, yeah, which is much. nice, you know? I mean, I speak clearly, you know? Yeah. But I think that's it, to coincide with our like YouTube growth. I think you yeah. have that as well, especially in your tastes in anime when mm. you're a teenager and what you like and you know, you kind of lie to well, yourself we, we sometimes. We call trash taste for a reason. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> Joey's, Joey's really pulling his weight on that trash this, taste. This, this, really, this, this episode has been on fucking point. I had to bring the trash in, all right? <laughs> if, if someone was gonna do it, it was gonna be me. Why, why is it every podcast I'm on, I can never escape school days? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> Because it's so fun. I, I think because it's, it's that it's that moment as an anime fan when you watch School Days and it's like two paths. Which one are you gonna go down? Yeah. Are you gonna go down like just admitting your tastes? And this like, is like yeah. the modern day like Pokemon versus Digimon. It's yeah. like yeah. School Days good or School Days bad. Was it, it's like the anime litmus like, test. I'm, like, I'm thinking was School Days just way more culturally important for the anime fandom than I realized it was. I, I think, I think it is. so. I, at least for you know in the mid you know 2010 that round. Yeah, period, yeah. I think that was a big like taste indicator. Oh, you know? 100%. And, yeah. and also anyone who said they liked it was a fucking liar at the time, you know? So, or, <laughs> and that means you couldn't trust any of his opinions. <laughs> like, <laughs> anyone subscribed yeah. after that, I don't understand. No. Because, no, because at that time, I remember this. I mm. felt like I was the fucking, the idiot. Cause I'm like, yeah. am I the only guy that thinks this show is garbage? Like, no, am I when, when, crazy? when did School Days come out? It was like 2007, I think. Some, it, it, but, was, it was during the golden age. Okay, so it's 2007. Yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah, because yeah, I think it was 2007. Saying that, right? I watched that at like 2013. 
Yeah. And that was yeah. st- that argument was still going on yeah. until yeah, two th- yeah. 2013. And to some aspect, it's still going on today. Yeah. Obviously a lot lesser, but- I mean, you can argue that we brought it back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, how many anime do you know that have had like discussions like that, where it's like brought up time and, and it's so decisive. Well, right. I, I think this is the only anime that's like, properly trashy, you know what I mean? That's, oh, it's that, so yeah, trashy. That, that is, it just keeps being brought up. Because yeah. I can, you know, point to shows like, say, Evangelion or something yeah, that, yeah. you know, we can discuss till the end of times, and fans yeah. probably will discuss that till the end of time. But in terms of like shows that I count as fucking awful, yeah. Yeah. Um, School Days is just a show that just doesn't refuse to, like, it's a fucking cockroach. Every time I step on it, every time I think it fucking <laughs> dies, <laughs> it comes back. two other people come back and say, oh yeah, I, I like the end of School Days. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please, I thought I was past this point. <laughs> You'll never escape from it, dude. That, that, that's that's the beauty of it's school 2020. days. 2020, oh my God. I love how this was just like supposed to be our origin story in terms yeah. of the downfall of yeah. anime. It's just the yeah. absolute shit it's- roasting of my 10 out of 10 opinion yeah. of school days. <laughs> It's just like a Brazzers of anime, you know? It's just like, <laughs> that's basically what it is. It's like, imagine if like, if if a Brazzers had a good ending, we'd probably all be arguing about it, right? That's the equivalent of it. It's like, it's not, it's fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm so heated about it. I just, it, 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 it gives like a visceral reaction to everyone yeah. who dislikes it. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> this guy's just living it down. Um, I'm, I'm, like, just, I'm just looking forward to the giant discussion this is gonna cause in like the subreddit. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, this is gonna yeah. be a whole thread again. This is gonna I'm, come out. I am it. interested to see what you, the viewers, if yeah. you have seen School Days, think of it. And yeah. if you're wrong on yeah. your thoughts <laughs> on School Days. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, jeez. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, is there anything else we can talk about other than- uh, I think that's a good place to end it for yeah, today. I, I um, feel like I just took the wind out of my sails. Yeah, I yeah. don't know how I can possibly be calm about anything else today. <laughs> you know. But you do have something important. We do else, have right? something yeah. to talk about. Uh, we've actually started the Trash Taste Patreon. Uh, as you can see, the production value is quite high for this podcast and we have editors helping us and stuff. And it, it's a whole system that we have. And sadly, doesn't fund itself. It, it costs yeah. a lot of money to run. But basically, I, I just want to talk about because, you know, I, I feel like when we were making this podcast, we didn't want to settle for like cheap production values, right? No, we, no, we, 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 we wanted this to be, you know, comparable yeah. to any other high budget podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But like to us, this was a passion project. Right? Yeah. We've put quite a lot of our own savings into this. <laughs> That's an understatement. Project. These like, mics are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, sev- several thousand dollars into, yeah, into making this. And plus, you know, we are renting out a studio, yeah. you know, in Japan. A lot of near, time, a lot of money. Yeah, near yeah. Tokyo. Mm-hmm. So right now, like, not to say that we, you know, all three of us are pretty well off. We've got we'll be fine. If, yeah. We'll be fine. <laughs> like, yeah. We just don't want our passion project to be bleeding money, which right now it is. Yeah. You know. So any any help that you can give to help us, just to you know, go even because mm-hmm. that, that's that's my goal. If, yeah, if I can yeah. just do this yeah. and not have to worry, worry about, about losing money, like, like just constantly losing money, and yeah. you know, then I would be more comfortable and I would just be happy. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, with your guys' support too, like we'll be able to evolve this podcast into like bigger and better things yeah, in yeah. the near future. Yeah, and and. and- if you are just a standard viewer who you know doesn't care about Patreon or anything, don't worry about it. Nothing will change with Trash Taste. Nope. It's gonna be the exact same yeah. way. You get everything. Don't worry about it. They don't. The patrons don't get anything. We're not gonna pay all anything. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. please, again, we'll be fine financially if you don't support it. It's yeah, totally yeah. fine. It's just, purely yeah. optional. Purely optional. If you like, like the podcast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and is that what else do we have to discuss? Anything else we need to shout out or anything? Uh, Follow us on Twitter. We have Twitter. <laughs> yeah. At Trash Taste Pod. You can yeah. also send us your memes and topic suggestions there as well. Yeah. And uh, we also post photos and videos of dumb yeah. shit that we do. Yeah. So if you enjoy that, follow us on there yeah. as well. And Smash the like <laughs> button <laughs> and subscribe <laughs> and to and the channel. <laughs> and before you fuckers ask again, uh, it will be going on Spotify and, and Apple, all that stuff eventually. If it isn't already, uh, it will be soon. Don't yeah. worry. At the time of recording, I'm really hoping by the time this comes out, yeah. it's already. So so check the description. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we're gonna have an answer in the description whether this will we'll, 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 we'll definitely announce it on the subreddit yeah. and the Twitter. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. At least check that out. But without further ado, this has been Trash Taste, and thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I can't fucking believe school days. <laughs> <laughs> this fucker.